here's a um, shed ramp that I'm adding on to. I had an existing run about four years ago, and now I wanted to add this piece on to it. Um, I end up having some leftover five-quarter decking and two two-by-fours, so I wanted to make this less, the rest of this ramp come out um, because when I first built this, there was trees and jungle all here all the way behind, so the only way to come was that way. So now I'm like, eh, I want to come right out from the shed. I want to do that. Um, so I'm going to build a duplicate ramp now, so many years later, and then I'll have a sort of a triangle wedge I'll have to um, um, weave in um, by attaching some more runners and then miter those down. So for now, um, what I ended up doing was, because this is quite a slope, this comes out 32 inches. So I can get five full pieces of five quarter with a gap of a speed square. And um, that distance that comes out here uh, and comes across, it actually drops eight inches from here to there on this side, but down here it drops over a foot. So because it changes slope two ways as a compound slope, I ended up um, just digging these down. So I built this, I put on the uh, cut angle I needed to get, which this existing one, I just use that to mirror that so that is an 80 degree cut. So just take off 10 degrees or, and then you'll, um, it's a gentle slope. And then the back of this, simply, these tails are just simply straight. So if you were really gonna do this and you had a, say a concrete pad and it sloped, you need to trim those tails off and you need to feather those out with a you know circular saw or something or handsaw but in my case it's just as easy to dig it because of the topography changing there's lots of sticks in here there's all this uh, matting from used to be lots and lots of ferns here and they've made this like you can see that brown matting so once you get through that carpet <laughs> uh, then you get down to the sand and dirt and, and dig it up. So all I did was lay this out 16 on center um, spots, had to cut a trim for the block obviously up there. And then to keep everything together, instead of putting, I didn't have enough two by fours left over to, cause I just sort of did this on the whim. I don't have enough to place in between here. So I just use this extra one by six I had. It's basically just keeping it together until I get the, the decking board. Eventually I'm sure that will disassemble itself uh, underneath uh, the underside of the ramp but for now it's a uh, it's basically just uh, holding it together so make sure the tails don't move so much uh, cantilevered out like this I also didn't have enough of a 2x4 this took two 2x4s two so I used an extra piece of that 5 quarter as the ledger board um, this is uh, my method was to cut my angles screw everything back from the side uh, from the back side and then flip this thing over and attach the ledger uh, to the existing structure here this rectangle um, with my three inch wood screws um, there's not a lot of obviously I don't have a I don't have a, motorcycles or cars I'm going over this so it's not a big deal in terms of weight I'm not using lag bolts or anything of that matter this has been here for I said for almost four years now same thing just three inch exterior deck screws so now I'm gonna flip it over attach it and then I'll build the components that I'll um, weave this together and then do my decking. Um, and tr finally have, you know, a, a larger ramp to come out with the lawn mower and all the lawn tools and just sort of come right out instead of turning nine degrees as I come out. Okay, here it is all done. The additional ramp and then the little pyramid to connect them. So, um, tips, I guess, was this little pyramid piece here. Um, I did, it's a compound cut, so not only the angle, the, and it's not 45, of course, because, you know, I didn't measure that, so I should have, I guess, to try to maintain that 45 would have been easier on the saw, but um, it, uh, it's um, different angles on each one. And then on top of that, I needed to bevel it. So at a 15 degree bevel, um, the end grain, otherwise they would 
butt up. So by back beveling this pieces there, they allowed it to be um, fit snug right up in there. And then additionally on this leg here, um, I packed out um, some two by fours for a nailing surface. But what happened was is that uh, ended up extending it and raising it out even more so I, I gave too much to nail in so what it was doing was lifting up this edge so to take that down I took a chisel and just chiseled that down quickly and then I ended up having a, I have a a plane a, a power planer you know handheld model you know $30 off a of Harbor Freight or something I've, I've only used once and I ended up uh, planing actually parts of these down so you can see some coloration there that helped me um, also get that that edge nice and straight um, the last one is this little stupid triangle I wish I would have probably cut that a little bit better but you're pivoting there because it's all meeting at one point and um, it's, it's got all the compound cuts on top of the uh, um, other issues that the other ones had so overall I like it now I can exit out and come right out of the door and come right down um, other tip and at the end took all that leftover dirt that was there and I packed it underneath that last board just so I have a nice smooth transition because you know this is a five inch drop over this um, six feet here so packing that in and then taking the leftover mulch when I raked it back this morning and brought it back in and just sort of evened it out I guess that's what I'm trying to say so that really helps out um, I ended up using a leftover I have this so one by six I ended up ripping down from some other project I use it as like a tamp take the end and just tamp underneath that last cord that last uh, uh, tread there um, and it allowed me to pack that dirt in tighter um, so when I bring the rake the mulch back it's not just gonna uh, sink or, or kick out anyway that helped with last time when I did this one several years ago and I remember again that I had this this same one by six that I sort of had left over as my little tamp I guess so overall uh, it took um, it took about uh, nine hours from beginning of setup to tear down to sweeping up and I'm done um, obviously it was two two by fours um, and it was um, in this case I had to do six um, five quarter eight foot boards and use the cutoff pieces um, and some scrap to make the little pyramid uh, of course in the future instead of doing that maybe I would be able to uh, miter them both together maybe that would have been a better case if I was doing this all again um, but for now lots of different angles pitches and it runs out two different directions and um, but really it's just a day's worth of work and some nails and some splinters probably in here. Hope you like it.